In this Rust2 tutorial, I will go over how to monitor a parameter from a node in the same executable and also from a remote node, which is a node not in the same executable. We will create the package, review the source code, update the cmakelist.txt file, build the package, and test out the two cases. If you're new to my channel, I teach OpenCV, Computer Vision, Python, C++, Git, Rust2, SolidWorks, mechanical design, and I have a GitHub that goes along with it. So subscribe to learn more. So to start off, let's go ahead and create our package. We want to navigate to our source folder and then run the ROS2 package create uh, command here to create our package. So we're going to call, call our package CPP parameter event handler, and we're going to use the RCLCPP as our dependencies. So this will create our package. And if we scroll up, we should see our package has been created here, CPP parameters, parameter event handler. And then we're gonna go ahead and move our source co code inside. So inside of here, we have our um, parameter event handler.cpp that we're gonna move into the source folder. So if we scroll down, we're gonna check out right here, we have our parameter file that we're gonna copy. And we're gonna go ahead and paste that in our source folder. So here we go. And notice this is a file. Let's just briefly go over this. So we have included here our rclcpp.hpp file. And we're creating a new class called sample node with parameters. So this is inherited from our node class. And we have our constructor here for our sample node with parameters. So inside of here, we're declaring the parameter an int param, initialize it to zero. And here we have a param subscriber. So um, here we have a, if we scroll down, we'll see we have a, right here is our shared pointer here, which is our param subscriber. And then here we have a callback. So received an update to parameter. So it's pretty much seeing if there's any update. And then we have a CB handle. So param subscriber is going to add a parameter callback. So here we have our callback is passed into here for our um, subscriber. So this is our CB handle. And then we have a CB2. This part, this is to monitor a remote node. So we'll check that out later. Um, but here we have the param subscriber and the CB handle that we just talked about. Okay, so let's see all the places that we use CB handle. You can see that it's called here. And then um, that's pretty much it in our CB handle. Um, and then we'll go through this part of the code later on. And in our main function, we have our usual init, spin, and shutdown. So this will um, start our node up for us. So if we go back into our file, we're going to see that uh, what we want to do is update our CMake list. So here, we're just going to copy this. Uh, this is our original, so we're going to go to the new one. So we're going to copy this file and then go to our CMake list here. So I'm going to just replace the whole thing. And we're going to see the part that we're adding. So we're adding this part. We're adding an executable param, parameter event handler. And we're adding in the source file parameter event handler.cpp. We're going to have a main target dependencies, which will depend on rclcpp here. And we have our targets here, install targets, parameter event handler, and our destination lib project name. Okay, so now that we have everything, um, we should be able to build our package. So we're going to go ahead and go to our ROS2 workspace and then just build that specific package. So if I go ahead and run this, we should see our package built. So once our package is done building, in one terminal, we're going to run the event handler. So we're going to source our setup. And then we're going to do our ROS2 run CPP parameter event handler, parameter event handler. So we have that up and running. Okay, so in our other terminal, we're going to go ahead and cd to our ROS2 workspace, source our install uh, setup.bash file, and then set a parameter over here. So go ahead and run this. We see that here we have a uh, feedback. So we see that it says received an update to parameter, an int param of type integer, 
uh, 43. And here it says set parameter successful. So this is a way we could get feedback to see if our parameters have been set. So now we're going to check out another way is to monitor another node's parameter change if the um, node is not inside the same file. So if we go back to our um, source file here, so the part that we add to do that is this chunk of code here. So here we have a CB2 callback2, and here we see that um, we have a const CL, RCL CPP parameter P, and then here we have a get logger, so CB2 received an update to parameter, and here we have a get name, uh, get type name, and as double. So here we have a remote node name, so here we are calling it parameter uh, blackboard and a remote parameter name, a double param. And then CB2 handle2 is going to be our param subscriber, add, uh, add parameter callback. And then we uh, have a remote param name, CB2, and then our remote uh, node name. So this is the node that we're going to be looking for. So if we go down, then you see that the rest of the code is the same except for this new cb2 okay so inside of this main function here which is our constructor you see that now we have um, two callbacks acting at the same time so these will always be monitoring for some change so if we go ahead and run the new command now so if we go back to our readme so since we already built the package um, we don't have to do anything but here we're going to go ahead we run this file, which I mean, run this uh, parameter event handler, which we did over here. And the second one, we want to try running this parameter blackboard. So I'm going to go ahead and run that command. And you're going to see that parameter blackboard, node name, param ready, and serving five parameters or parameters already. So in our third one, so that one just starts our node in our other. Um, in our other terminal here, we're going to go ahead and set the parameter. So let's cd to our ROS, cd to our uh, ROS2 workspace here. So cd, cd ROS2 workspace. And then we're going to go ahead and source and then set our parameter. So you see here we have a feedback receive an update to parameter, a double param of type double 3.4. And then here nothing changed. Okay. But you can see that now we have a feedback, which is to a node that is not inside our executable. So in our next video, we're going to talk about how to create a launch file. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.